Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal! Last time we could took on the Poison Master Koga, and in this episode, we're going to take on the next Elite Four member, Bruno! I am Bruno of the Elite Four! I always train to the extreme by because I believe in our potential! That is how we became strong! Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you! You look determined, perfect for battle! Ready, Emil, you are bowed down to our overwhelming power! Hoo-ha! Chill! Anyway... This is Bruno, and Bruno is go going to start off with Hitmontop, level 42! Fighting type with the most quick attack, dig, detect, and pursuit. Hitmontop can be quite annoying, but it doesn't have the greatest of moveset in the world. And if you have a Pokemon with Earthquake and it decides to use dig, that is a perfect time for you to use, to use Earthquake because then Earthquake doubles in power. And the quick attack isn't really too bad. Uh, Hitmontop is not too bad overall. But if you try to use fly, it's probably going to use something like detect or something, which is really annoying. Here comes the critical. I don't know if that one mattered. I don't know if that was normal, minimum, or maximum damage for the first earthquake, but whatever. Next up on his roster is going to be his Hitmon Channel, level 42, fighting type, with the moves Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Mark Punch. This Hitmon Chance has a wide range of moveset, but the thing is that the uh, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch are special base moves in this uh, generation. Uh, they didn't get physical until 4th generation, so Hitmon Chance shouldn't be able to give you too much of a trouble. Mark Punch is probably the, the move he's going to hit you the hardest with, and it's not really that powerful. It is a priority move, so. Watch out for that, but Hitmonchan overall shouldn't be too bad. It does have a pretty decent special offense, so if you have any physical moves like flying type moves, like wing attack or fly, actually we're pretty pretty good against Hitmonchan, but I don't have I don't have uh, any, any moves like that, so Flying Wheel is going to be able to take down Hitmonchan. And now for his next Pokemon! It's going to be his Onyx, and that one I'm definitely going to bring in a keen on. Uh, Onyx is level 43, Rock Round type, with the moves Rock Slide, Sandstorm, Earthquake, and Bind. Onyx, you have faced a lot of these uh, throughout your uh, adventure this far, so it shouldn't be any big surprise to you, but it does have a few good moves like uh, Rock Slide and Earthquake. And I decided to put up a Reflex so uh, his upcoming Pokemon won't hit me so hard. Because they they have pretty high attacks at uh, his next two Pokemon. So I decided to put up a Reflect. The uh, Onyx couldn't, wouldn't be able to do too much to me either way. So yeah. That was Onyx. And next up on his roster is going to be his Hitmonlee. Lee. Which is going to be level 42 fighting type with the most double kick, foresight, high jump kick and swagger. Hitmonlee Lee has, has very good attack stat. Uh, if you if you watch my Pokemon Fire Red Adventures, you would know that that is a pretty powerful Pokemon. It's pretty fast too, so I will go for an Earthquake. Oh, Swagger! Uh, oh, wait a minute. Did I say that Hitmonchan has better special defense than defense? Well, Hitmonchan is better defensive overall, but I do think Hitmonlee has better uh, special defense of the two. And that Sandstorm is really going to kick him in the butt, like literally. Oh God! It comes a high jump kick. Good thing I have a reflect off, so it won't do too much damage at all. If it if it does match with high jump kick, it will crash and uh, it will do damage to itself. I do believe half the damage it will do it will do to you. It will do uh, to itself, almost like confusion. Oh come on! Critical hit, really, really. Then bring, I'll bring in Hercules since uh, Hercules uh, resists. Uh, Hitmonlee's attacks. Uh, let's go for an earthquake. Uh, if it does, since I resist the both double kick and high jump kick, I don't really see the point in going for counter. And the earthquake takes it down. Very nice. And last up on his roster is going to be his main Pokemon, his Machamp, level 46, fighting type, with the moves Rock Slide, Foresight, Crush Up, and Vital Throw. 
Machamp is a very powerful Pokemon. It's pretty bulky too. It does more defense than special defense. So try to do it on the special side. It does like a third maybe. And here comes the Rock Slide. And that is probably going to hurt a lot to Hercules. Even though, yeah, I don't know, a lot. But I do believe Hercules can survive one more Rock Slide. And one more Earthquake should be able to take down the Machamp. Hopefully, hopefully this uh, Rock Slide won't take me out then. Earthquake should be able to take it out. Yes! 9 HP. Oh, Max Potion. Of course, yes, he has to Of course, yes, he has an item on his Machamp. Of course. But you know what, Bruno? I could use potions too. <laughs> nope, not full heals, but hyper potions. <laughs> I think Bruno is the hardest one uh, this far, but uh, he's not too bad. Honestly, if you have good defensive Pokemon and Pokemon that are faster than than his, and if you have a psychic type Pokemon, then you're then you're pretty much good to go. So let's go for Nerfquake on the Machamp, and two more should be able to take out Machamp. If it Hopefully it will not critical hit me, but I do believe I can survive two more. Hey, uh, I think that was maximum damage, but hopefully I won't get minimum damage or something. But this Earthquake should be able. Yes, it does. It does take out the Machamp and a lot of experience for Hercules. Why? How could we lose? I don't know what kind of accent that was. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Anyway, that was Arnold's watch, I mean Bruno. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.